Courtesy of Poulin, I have fallen in love with a new form of creative outlet. Today I'm gonna break down my experience of using the Poulin embroidery machine. I'm so excited to share this with you. The creative ideas are flowing and I'm gonna show you how the machine itself actually works in addition to three completed projects. fellow sewists and creatives. I'm Rachel Ann and welcome to Dining Creativity. This channel is fully dedicated to my sewing journey, the highs, the lows, and pretty much everything in between. Today I'm veering a little bit out of the sewing my own clothing realm and instead going to talk to you about my new love, my newfound love of embroidery. What I'm about to say may sound just absolutely ridiculous, but I'm gonna go ahead and just out myself. You guys know I just try to keep it real and down to earth over here. Prior to Poulin reaching out to me to ask if I would be interested in receiving an embroidery machine to talk about on my channel, I will be very transparent with you. I did not even realize that an embroidery machine was a thing. Okay, I said it. <laughs> And I'm so, so happy I took the chance and said yes and decided to partner with them for this video on their excellent machine. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through everything that's included with your Poulin embroidery machine, how certain features on the lovely, and I'll turn it on, on the lovely, there we go, computerized system works, and how easy it is for somebody who... Again, I feel so silly, but for somebody who did not even realize that there were embroidery machines out there for personal use, I wanna show you exactly how easy and straightforward this machine has been for me to use. First step, once you get a semi-large package, get into a tiny wrestling match with it, but I was victorious, proud to report. Here is the Poulin EOC05 model. Say hi to my dog. As you can see, it does come with quite a few pieces, a very comprehensive instruction manual, tools that at the time I wasn't quite sure what to use them for, a quick guide, which was very helpful, all of your preloaded bobbins, they are ready to go, the frames, two different sizes, a bag filled with a whole lot of different goodies that I've used many times. They even give you a USB drive that you can upload your own patterns into the pull-in embroidery machine, which is awesome. A dust cover bag to cover your machine. I don't use that, but I think it would be very nice. I just like to have my stuff all the way out, able to use at any point, but it's still very sweet they included it. Your standard power cord. And then it was on to assess the actual machine itself, which I must say was packed very, very well. This thing was not shaken around. There it is in all of its glory. Small wrestling match number two was about to begin. The let me get this thing out of the box moment. <laughs> and I was very excited and intrigued to see what this embroidery machine was all about. But wait, Poulin actually included more. Pulled out this packet of what I now know is backing, but at the time, notice the perplexed look on my face, smile and keep it moving. <laughs> I had no idea what that was, but it's what you put on the back of your fabric in the frame. Also had no idea what this was, but this is actually a piece that you insert onto the Poulin embroidery machine itself it is actually a very straightforward process to attach this arm to the machine. And I'll show you how in a, in a little bit after I looked at the instruction manual, it was abundantly clear how to slide it into place, but I didn't wanna go ahead and do that. I was very excited about this because it's the polyester embroidery thread. This was the very nice thing. When you get this machine, Poulin basically sets you up with everything you need. I'm talking multiple different kinds of thread, which I'm just showing them all to you right now, that lovely purplish color. And you know I was most excited about this next one. Green, forest green. I'm still on that green kick. 
But yeah, everything is included. So you're able to just plug and play. And so here are all the different pieces that came out of that box that were all packed so well. The arm for the embroidery machine, all your thread. They also give you multiple packs of organ needles, which I thought was so amazing. The actual inserting the needle is so similar to a sewing machine so if you already sew the, there is quite a bit of crossover in my opinion once you get the hang of the embroidery machine how to thread it things of that nature the tension which i did have to play around and i really was diligent to try to set myself up for success like i said total beginner literally you guys are witnessing the very first Taking this thing out of the box, I had no idea. And so I definitely read this manual front to back. I was very appreciative of the thoughtful and straightforward instructions that were included. The recording continued, but I'm about to spare you the details of the incessant reading. <laughs> I was ready at this point and it is super easy to go ahead and put the arm of the embroidery machine basically just slide it right into place this is the piece that will essentially stay there the entire time and your frame is attached to that arm that you've just inserted into the machine itself so the reading definitely continued and i was excited to go ahead and put this thing together there is an important reminder here, and it is to make sure that the machine is completely turned off before you attach the embroidery unit. So there's some important things in that instruction manual. Now onto the hoops. At the time, I was perplexed. I thought, what in the world is this thing? But again, the instruction manual lays it out for you, tells you, you place the backing underneath, the stabilizer, I guess you call it, but it's, from my understanding, all the reading I've done, it's a necessity. Experienced embroiderist, oh, that's a mouthful. Please correct me if I'm wrong, putting the stabilizer being a necessity, but this is what stabilizes the fabric so that then you can actually do your embroidery. So this is where it took me a hot minute to really get this thing together until I wised up and decided to change location. I don't know how any of the other embroiderists out there feel about these hoops, but it was um, a little bit of a challenge here my first time going at this. But it's very convenient because on the frame itself, there is an arrow that points up and kind of gives you the direction on which way you're supposed to insert it. So it's a little bit of a learning curve here, as you can see. I mean, this was certainly my first time ever doing this. But considering it was my first time, I found it to be eventually much easier. And then you really get the hang of it. To tighten it and keep it into place, you're just gonna twist that bottom knob. I've never had an issue with it popping out of place. I just make sure it's obviously completely twisted close. And there you have it. I was very proud of myself this first time. Let me just be honest here. They also recommend that you go in and just smooth out all of that fabric to make it nice and taut, I guess you could say. That way it really embroiders up very nicely. But there's the backing and you've got the fabric and it's good to go. So we're gonna turn this baby on Again, this was the first time literally working with this. I pulled it straight from the box and started recording. And look at this. I just picked out a design and went, went to town, essentially. I just wanted to do something easy this first time. And so you see it's on the screen and it shows you exactly what part it's doing. When you start to use different colors, one of my favorite parts is it actually stops and tells you to switch out the thread. And so now I'm working on the second letter. <laughs> I tried here. I really, like I said, well, actually, I don't think I told you this. This was my first trial run here straight from the box. And I didn't realize or know that you could do multiple letters at once. Learning curve. And so I will show you the first 
attempt here. It's cute. So as you can see, it definitely did a great job. Now I was ready to try something a little more advanced. So I used another built-in pattern, which was the koi fish, and I added the border around the edge. I only used two separate colors for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what, when I started working with the embroidery machine by Poulin, my world was just completely opened <laughs> in terms of different creative outlets and projects. And so I self-drafted this little tote bag from this upholstery fabric that I've had forever and decided to practice on this particular piece of fabric to make this tote bag. And of course, I wanted to try to do something really cute that I would actually use. This is gonna be a reusable grocery bag or a beach bag. I mean, there's so many different uses for a tote bag. And I chose also one of the built-in patterns that was this really cool koi fish. And I just added a border all around it to give it a little added something and then just did the monogram, you know, kept it a little traditional. But this was such a fun project and it looks so professional in my opinion. You have the option to change out the colors. I wanted it to be a little bit um, more low key in terms of how many different colors I use. So I really just went with two. I, I went with this really pretty, at least in my opinion, pretty uh, almost tealish green color. And then I used the red to outline the koi fish. And it was just such a straightforward process. I mean, I really had no complaints whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna walk you through how to find the pattern that you have uploaded to be able to create your own custom design. So you're gonna go to the main pattern tab. I just kind of reclicked because I wanted to show you step by step. And you will see all these different selections here. They actually have really nice letters, built-in patterns but they have the capability and they provide a USB drive for you to upload your own patterns. So these are the three that I've uploaded. This is one I'm actually about to embroider onto a top, try it out. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to change all of the colors because I have a specific color scheme in mind. And as you can see, there is such a wide variety of different colors that you can find one that looks very close to the color that you want to use. That way it'll kind of give you a little bit of a heads up to figure out how the finished product is actually going to look. So now, and it's very nice because as you can see, you just click through to each one. I'm not gonna do purple. Okay, so I've got the mauve pink. This is gonna be kind of a winter, a darker color scheme. Mauve pink, forest green. This purple, the purple is not working for me. And right now my pattern collection, uh, pattern collection, my, my embroidery sewing thread color collection is a little bit small. So, I have to kind of play around. Let me try the light blue and just see. Because I do have a very, very baby blue, light blue color that I think would be gorgeous. That may be, hmm, that may be the closest. Let me try here. Oh, that's kind of cute, kind of different. Okay, we want to take the red out. And I think, honestly, we may just do a mauve. Okay, let's go back here and see. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a million different colors here. But as you can see, I'm gonna go through and actually kind of keep playing around with this and I'll spare you a super long, long tangent with it. But that is how basically you would go to the USB side of the pattern that you uploaded. So then what I'll do when you get ready to embroider, you make sure this is definitely one of the most important things to choose the correct frame save. So I chose the longer frame. It's kind of prepping over there. And let's say that you were totally satisfied with this. Then you would just hit ready and 
start once you've threaded your needle and you're good to go. So we're gonna exit because we are not ready to embroider. We're gonna go back to configuration. All right, so there you have it. That is just a small precursor to how to use your own uploaded USB patterns and you can play around with that. Now you may remember that I did whip up a self-drafted Gani or Ghani tie front top. And of course I wanted to do it again. This is an upcycled piece. Originally a piece of fabric I found at the thrift store. It was attached to a dress that I actually turned into a little tie front top. I selected a pattern from embroiderydesigns.com, I believe, and I'll link that website down below and used my USB with the Poulin embroidery machine to upload that pattern. And this was the final outcome. I ended up actually even using some of Poulin's stored patterns to add a couple other little pieces throughout. This was what I learned. Uh, I'm a novice, as you know, but the one thing is your needle size matters. So I'm learning as I go, just as in sewing, I needed a more delicate needle because I found that the needle I was using was a little too big on this very, very thin cotton fabric. So I had to actually stop the, the it was gonna be a huge embroidery design right here. I had to go ahead and stop that because I was a little nervous it was gonna, going to rip the fabric. And this is me just being completely honest. It was not a result of the embroidery machine itself, but more so user error and I take full responsibility. So I need to find some smaller, finer needles, just like in sewing, you don't wanna use your standard heavyweight needle for a silk top. I believe after all the research I've done, the same thing is uh, for embroidery machines as well. You wanna use the correct corresponding needle size with the kind of, you know, correct fabric that you decide to embroider. But even still, I love the way it came out. I really do. I think it's just a cute little fun top and the embroidery just adds such a fun little detail. This one was fun because when you're working with the embroidery machine itself, it literally will stop and tell you, change out the thread. And by that point, you've gone through and selected all your different thread colors for your design. So you automatically know, just switch to this next thread. So switch from the dark green to the burgundy color and so on and so forth. It is really, really just an amazing machine, an amazing tool to use. As always, there's going to be a learning curve anytime that you get any kind of new device or sewing machine. But if I do say so myself, I mean, for these, these literally are the first three projects I have ever done with an embroidery machine. And look how nice they turned out. They really, in my opinion, look beautiful. I am so happy and thrilled with them. The Poulin embroidery machine truly makes it super easy to create your own patterns. What I'm gonna do is show you, we're gonna go to pattern. Okay, so first of all, you see this. This was the final product. I'm gonna actually go into built-in patterns and just show you what's available. First of all, I'm gonna remove this. I believe I'd already saved it. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that's how you can just delete everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these built-in patterns. They have this lovely floral motif. There are 10 pages of completely different built-in patterns that really can be applied to such a range of different projects that you decide to work with. Unique and pretty. Now, the interesting piece here, and it took me a second to kind of figure it out, but once you figure it out, it's so straightforward. Whoops, we're gonna actually, let me go back here. Um, they actually allow you with the USB, I already shared this, but with the USB that they provide to you that's already in the correct, I believe it's the FAT format, they literally provide you with the ability to upload your own patterns. So let's go here, USB patterns. And these were a couple 
that I, that I found on a great website called embroiderydesign.com. You can have three different patterns per week that are all free and included. You just download them into the DST format on your computer and then upload them into your USB. And there you have it, it's that easy. And so then when you get into this specific piece, as you can see, this one does go outside of the lines. So you're just gonna hit configure. We know that the frame is the right frame. You always gotta make sure it's on the right size. Okay, so then save. We're gonna go back. And we, because it's outside of those lines, we're gonna go ahead and go to size and just reduce it. And it'll tell you, if you continue to zoom out, it may degrade the embroidery quality or prompt an error. So we're gonna hit okay. And it just is very intuitive to let you know, this is the correct size it needs to be. If you make it any smaller, it may not turn out as expected. Just another excellent feature of this pull-in embroidery machine. change I want to show you my most recent project that I made and it was this little apron that I self-drafted the pattern for the apron <laughs> out of some extra fabric I had and embroidered on the front dining creativity with two cherries uh the cherries were a built-in pattern that is offered with one of the other here it is right here even already up on my screen but the cherries were one of the built-in pattern options, embroidery options in the Poulin machine itself. And so it was so much fun to add the lettering and create a unique garment that it just makes me feel official wearing this when I create. <laughs> Maybe later I'll take it down to the kitchen and wear it to cook. But this was a very straightforward process for me to use. With that being said, I would advise everybody have a practice piece of fabric. This was the first experiment that I did. Even though the instruction manual is amazing, I firmly believe that you can read it from cover to cover, which I honestly did, but still have to play around with the machine itself to really get the desired look that you want to. And But even for this being the first time right out of the box, it's actually super cute. Overall, I am so appreciative to Poulin for entrusting me with their wonderful machine to talk about on my channel and just share as an additional form of creative expression. I would absolutely rate it uh, a 9.5, 9.9 out of 10. I really don't see any major flaws or issues with it, especially if you are brand new to embroidery like I am. What an intuitive machine to use and to work with. And as I've already mentioned, the instruction manual that they give you is phenomenal. You're really set up for success just in terms of all the supplies that you're given. There are ample needles. I did break a couple needles. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you that because I don't think I have threaded the machine correctly. Again, there are visual images on how to do it, but I am the kind of person I have to learn by really using the machine. And so I was able to figure out, oh, wait a second, I'm not fully looping it around this correctly or it slipped out. And so you start to learn, wait a second, this is how I need to do it. And then before you know it, you can easily embroider all kinds of different things. So like I said, the creative juices are just flowing nonstop. I am so excited to use this machine. Y'all already know what everybody is gonna be getting for Christmas. <laughs> I have so many ideas, embroidering tea towels, dish towels, aprons, makeup bags, more tote bags. I have ideas for polo shirts for some of the gentlemen in my family and embroidering a cool design. I have business owners in my family and so I'm going to embroider their business designs, close girlfriends with businesses that, guess what? They're getting an embroidered design. <laughs> Everybody's getting embroidery for the holiday season. And if you are in the market or interested in trying a new avenue of creativity, 
link down below. You're going to find out all the information on how to access the machine, get one for yourself, put one on your Christmas list, who knows, or your holiday list and or birthday list or whatever list and kind of go from there. I've got to ask my fellow sewists, do you do embroidery, whether it's hand embroidery or machine embroidery? And what do you think about it? Do you have any really fun, cool projects that you've done that you'd like to share? Because I'm always open for new ideas. I mean, it just seems like the possibilities are truly endless and I can't wait to incorporate this just with some clothing. So you're certainly gonna be seeing me utilize embroidery with future clothing because it's just such a cool and unique added accessory to a piece of clothing that you sew. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, happy, happy creating and sewing and embroidering and be well.